死なないために死ぬほど準備することなんて絵に姫やだったことでしょう光栄だけど買いかぶりっすよ Hello guys, it's me Simu Orohara and in this video we will talk about one of the most powerful Bankai in Bleach. The complete Bankai of the miracle Hitsugaya Toshiro in his adult form. I have said in a previous video that in Bleach there are children who are considered as miracles. Among them for example Zaraki Kinpachi. Zaraki at young age had a monstrous riyatsu. Even the first Kinpachi couldn't stand in front of it. And there is the miracle Toshiro. And the commonalities between this distinguished category is that they are distinguished from their childhood with qualities that aren't found in others. Most prominent qualities that Toshiro had as a child was that he he had a vision in which he saw the true shape of his Zanpakuto, which he would obtain later. And I think this case is very rare. I don't think that there is a character who had the same thing as Toshiro, seeing your Zanpakuto before obtaining an Asauchi. And probably the only example in which we've seen like this is the 8th Kenpachi. His Bankai Uruzakuru has manifested soon as he saw his sister dying in front of him. Because in the end, if we go back to the definition of the Zanpakuto that we've seen in the arc failure of Zanpakuto, it's said that the Zanpakuto is born with its Shinigami and die with him. And I think the Zanpakuto does not necessarily mean the Zanpakuto that Nimaya invented. Before the invention of the Zanpakuto that Nimaya created, there were Shinigami and they were fighting. So how they were fighting? That's a mystery. However, I do think that the Shinigami used to communicate with their inner power through various ways. And probably among these ways is that they see this power of their Zanpakuto through a vision, as it happened with Toshiro. Before Nimaya comes with a new way of using that power through the use of the Zanpakuto we know. So, the most important thing is that besides Yurimaru used to come to Toshiro's dream, his Ryatsu was distinguished by being a strong and cold reacts. Whenever he woke up, he found the room in which he was sleeping very cold. And this was an early indication that he would be the owner of the strongest ice Zanpakuto in the Soul Society. In fact, as I always say, Daigorin Yurimaru is the opposite of Ryujin Jaka. Who knows that Yamamoto, when he was young or child, was exposed to the same situation as Toshiro. He also got to know Ryujin Jaka in a similar way. Especially since Yamamoto, when he was young, there was still no such thing as Zanpakuto. And so Toshiro's distinction was evident from the start. According to Kobo, Toshiro, when he joined the Gotei 13, he already owned a Bankai. And it can be said that during the days of Ishin as a captain, Toshiro was already able to release the Bankai. However, the biggest problem that Toshiro was facing was that the Bankai was not perfect. Because Toshiro's possession of such enormous power since his childhood had some negatives, including that he couldn't fully release it, since his body could not bear that full power and also needed some time to master it. We noticed that Zaraki Kinpachi, who is older and has strong physical strength than Toshiro, and yet he couldn't bear the power of his Bankai. That's why Toshiro was suffering from the same thing. So many times we used to see those three petals behind Toshiro's Bankai, which is one of the signs that the Bankai is not completed yet. Meaning that the Bankai that Toshiro was using throughout the story was not a mature Bankai, like Rinji's Bankai or even Ichigo's Bankai. Rinji didn't have the full name of his Bankai. That's why he was fighting with half the power of the Bankai. And Ichigo was fighting with a small fragment of his his Bankai's power because the Osan Zangitsu was suppressing his powers. As for the case of Toshiro, and this is what distinguishes him, he knew the truth of what he was going on inside him. Rinji didn't know he had half the name of the Bankai until Ichibi told him. And the same thing happened to Ichigo. Ichigo didn't know he had Quincy powers or that he was fighting with only a small fragment of his power. But Toshiro, unlike the rest, since his childhood had a prior contact with Daigo and Hyurimaru. That's why he knew he still had to practice 
more and more in order to be able to unleash his Bankai in its full release. As for what we saw from Toshiro, it was never the true strength of the Tiger in Hyurimal. However, the immature Bankai of Toshiro was giving us several indications of the extent of his hidden strength. As an example, the icy power that he can produce when he raises the Bankai or the techniques that Toshiro can use whether in Shikai or Bankai. That's why Toshiro has always been careful in using Bankai. And Kobo, in one of the questions asked for him regarding the full form of Toshiro's Bankai, the latter mentioned that if Toshiro used this form before he mastered the use of the Bankai, his physical development would have been incomplete. Therefore, his body would be exposed to several injuries. That's why, after the end of the Arankara arc, Toshiro knew that he had to train more and more, especially after seeing how weak he was in front of Aizen. He used the Bankai twice against him, and each time Aizen easily defeated him. For that, Toshiro spent 18 months training after the end of the Arankara arc. And before the beginning of the last arc, Kobo indicated that Toshiro had trained very well, and the fruits of this training would appear in the final arc, and hinted that when the petals will disappear, something will happen. And during the release of the final arc and in another interview with Kobo, he said that he was working on a new Bankai we hadn't seen at that time. Some people thought he was talking about Kyoraku's Bankai, but Kobo, in one of his recent answers in Club Outside, he said that he was referring to Toshiro's Bankai in its complete form. He even said that he had an idea he would draw Toshiro this way since the first design of Toshiro. And this is what happened at the end of chapter 670. The Bankai pitchels were starting to disappear. The prevailing belief was that if the pitchels disappeared, then the power of Toshiro's Bankai had ended. And this is what Byakuya thought. However, Toshiro changed this concept forever. So that he said that when this happens, it means that Daigorin Yurimaru is complete. Of course, when this happens, Toshiro's appearance changes and becomes an adult boy. Perhaps this is the effective method that Toshiro saw in order to use his Bankai in a perfect way. And we have seen such situations in several cases, like Ichigo when he used Tangai form, uh, his shape changed a little bit. And the same thing happened with Gon in Hunter x Hunter, because Toshiro's normal body wouldn't have been able to withstand such strength. As for me, I'll say it again, Toshiro's ability in this form I find them to be the strongest and I put them among the three strongest abilities of the strongest Bankai in Bleach. Like the special abilities of the Ink of Ichibi or the abilities of the Zanka no Tachi. I'm talking in terms of effectiveness and lethality. For example, as soon as Toshiro releases Yurimaru in its complete form, it becomes impossible to touch him. And if it happens, you will freeze immediately, like what happened to Girard. And he can freeze things only with his hands. But the thing that terrified me is not freezing things. It's about neutralizing the abilities and techniques of the weapons just by freezing them. Girard's Sword of Hope was able to make great damages to Zaraki's Shikai, Zaraki who had entered that fight without eye patch. But for Toshiro, with one blow, he negated all Girard's sword abilities. And here lies the true power of his Bankai. Any ability of any kind will be immediately nullified. And this ability reaches another level of power when Toshiro activates Shikai Yokuts, so that he freezes all the four elements of nature, including fire. And thus, if the ice Zampakto's weak point is the fire Zampakto, Toshiro with this technique becomes impervious to fire. So guys, Tell me your opinion about this adult form. Can we see it again in the upcoming chapter of Hell Arc? What do you think? Tell me your opinions in the comments guys and see you in my next video.